Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do this example and this example. Now take a look at example 2.3.3. .3. We let A, B, C be integers. Proof or disprove that if A divide B, C, then A divide B or A divide C. So if we think that this statement is true, prove it. If you think that this statement is not true, give an a counter example. So, do we have a divide the product of two number, but a does not divide b, and a does not divide c? Do we have that one? I think we might have. 6 divide 36 okay 3 divide 36 and what is 36 but 6 does not divide 36 is is 9 times 4 right but 6 does not divide 9 and 6 does not divide 4. As we can see, 36 is 9 times 4. We can see that 6 divides 36, but 6 does not divide number 9, and 6 does not divide number 4. So we have this proof, this statement. Okay? Now, so this is our counter example. I'm gonna say that and a counter example is a equal to six, b equal to b equal to nine, and c equal to four. Okay, so we might have another example. I think you I. I, I want you to figure it out, figure out another example, okay? So we have proved this statement already. So we proved that this statement is false, okay? This is false. Now, if you attempt to prove this, what happened? We have statement if P, if, okay, we have if P, then, then, Q or R. We have three statements. P is the assumption. Q or R is, is the conclusion, right? Is the conclusion. Conclusion that connected by or. Okay, so how to prove it? How to prove this statement? So to prove this statement, to prove this statement, you may have to number one assume that P is true, right? Okay. Number two, try to show that P or a Q or R is true. Okay. So but this statement is connected by or. So to prove this statement, Q or R, which is true, how to do it? So the way to do is to assume that not Q is true, okay? Then try to show that R is true. Okay, so you gotta have not so so you gotta have Q which is false and R which is true after you prove that R is true. So you gotta have if P then Q or R which become T right because P is assumed to be true. And if you assume that not Q is true, so Q is false, so we gotta have false or true, R is true. And if true or if false, sorry, 
false or true is true so we gotta have if true then true and it turns out to be true okay right now let's go to another example let's take a look at here okay so let a b and c be integers prove or disprove that if a divide b plus c then a divide b or a divide c hmm i think this i think this statement is false but i have to give a counter example so i have 5 divide 10 sorry 5 divide 10 but we know that 10 can be 7 plus 3 right 7 can be 10 plus 3 okay so but 5 5 does not divide 7 and 5 does not divide 3 okay so this statement is false all right it is false okay so a counter example is a counter example is that a is 5 b is 7 c is 3 all right that's what we have right here okay or you might try to prove this kind of statement p or q right if if p then q or r so you might try to use contrapositive if you try to prove to prove it there will be a problem so now what is the contrapositive of this statement p if p then q or r is going to be not q if not q or r then not p okay that's the one we have have so how so how to prove this one to prove this statement so to prove that not q or r if not q or r then not p then not p number one what you have to do is to assume that not q or r is true so it turns out to be what happened to this statement we gotta have not q and not r right which is true and trying to show that try to show that so you have to use theorem definition to show that not p is true that's what we have to do okay so now if you try to prove this statement so let's prove it by using by using a contrapositive okay so the contrapositive positive of this statement here we gotta have a okay of of this statement if a divide a plus c then a divide b or a divide c okay so what can we do what is the contrapositive of this statement is going to be not sorry it's going to be the negation of this statement so it's going to be a not divide b and a not divide C okay I forget the word if I forget the word if if A not divide C then A 
does not divide b plus c so that's what we have here okay so to prove this statement you have to assume that assume that a does not divide b and a does not divide c so what do we have we gotta have q1 q2 which are integer such that b equal to okay since a does not divide b what happened we gotta have b equal to a q1 plus r r1 okay what is r1 r1 must be greater than zero right and less than the divisor okay so you need to have remainder okay and since a doesn't divide c when you divide it it's gonna have it's going to have the quotient q2 and you will have the remainder which is greater than zero and less than absolute value of a okay now try to write b plus c let's see what happened b plus c so b plus c is going to be a plus a q1 plus r1 plus a q2 plus r2 and it turns out to be a q1 plus a q2 plus a1 plus r2 okay now we gotta have a times q1 plus q2 plus r1 plus r2 as we can see this this number this number is an integer right and it must be the remainder okay by division algorithm this number right here must be a remainder and this number here q1 plus q2 must be a quotient however what happened to this remainder so take a look so we know that this remainder must be greater than zero right but it's less than absolute a so they both live less than absolute a and it turns to be two absolute value of a according to division algorithm so if you divide the number BC by A, the remainder must be less than absolute A, right? But from this proof, as we can see, we have remainder less than 2A. That means that R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2 is possible to have the remainder that equal to absolute A, right? Okay, so we might have this one. So this equation is possible. Okay, if this equation is possible and A and the divisor is positive, what happened? So if A is positive, okay, and the remainder becomes absolute value of A, and since a is greater than zero absolute a must be a okay then b plus c that we are trying to prove that a does not divide b plus c as you can see we gotta have a times q1 plus q2 r1 plus r2 right now if i want r2 is just a that means that it possible it is possible that A divide B plus C here. Okay. So that's what we have right here, right? Okay. So but this one is not for this example. Okay, for this example, you have to just give a counter example to show that this statement is false. Okay. And if you attempt to prove this, you will have the possible way so that the 
the remainder of B plus C can be equal to the divisor A. Okay? So that's it for today, and see you in the next video.